so we're in the kitchen. Tuesday night dinner. Mm. What have we got? We've got Singapore noodles. So this is... OK, so you were brought up in Singapore, born no, in born Singapore. born there, but not brought okay. up. Have you ever been as a, no. for a holiday or not? I was going to go back for my 40th birthday. I can't remember what right. happened. I ended not. But so yeah, let me tell you about Singapore. Well, before I tell you about the dish, Singapore is a melting pot of Southeast Asian food. It's, it's right at the peninsula of Malaysia. So before it was Singapore, it was part of Malaysia. And it's a port, so the Chinese went there, the Indonesians, the, the Filipinos, and all of this amazing flavour just culminated Important. in one... Port, and that's why the food is so incredible there. So this dish, because it's got curry powder in, you would automatically assume it was um, South Asian. Yeah. Actually, we use curry powder through loads of Asian dishes. So we're going to talk about the ingredients. First of all, we've got our veg. You can put anything you want in this, anything you want at all. We're going to start with some white onion, a bit of oil in the pan, and we're going to fry that off. Yeah. Then we've got some peppers and some mange mm. too. Now, the proteins that I'm using are king prawns and some crab. But if you want to just use chicken... I've got chicken ...or any version. other fish, it's entirely up to you. This, is, the fish you this is lovely, by the way. Is it gorgeous? It's so you nice. Love it. It's uh, so there's nice. Two, there's two stages to this, where I've rehydrated these vermicelli noodles, which are rice noodles. So what's that, just boiling water? water? Then what you do is you put them to one side, then you put them onto a tray with a towel or something, and um, let them go to room temperature. That's really important. You've got to let the steam come off, because otherwise, if you put them in too wet, they stick and it goes horrible. Right. Right, OK, so now we're going to throw in some peppers and some mange too. And whilst that's just browning through, I'm going to start making my marinade. And so here I've got light soy sauce, about two tablespoons. Shall this is, this right is where right. I go wrong when I'm making the sauce. What? Right. Because I'll always put too much soy in or too much this yeah. in. OK, well, the thing to do is to make sure that you're putting in enough that you like the flavour of. If you want it very salty, use more soy. Uh, the rice wine is very, what very beautiful. What the second one you put in? Rice wine? Shouting rice right. wine, yeah. Okay. Then we're going to put in our curry powder. Now, that's, I can taste that in here, and that's delicious. Mm. Yeah, really nice. So about a teaspoon and a half of curry powder, about a teaspoon and a half of sugar, a good pinch of salt, a good pinch of white pepper. Always white pepper? Always white pepper. Why? It goes through the dish, because it's finely ground, so it, More it goes through the dish much easier than the hard bits. Okay. Uh, then here, turmeric. So this is mainly for colour. So I've put quite a lot in. Like that. Isn't it beautiful? beautiful? Oh, it's stunning. This is, this is handsome. Now, we're going to put in our king prawns, and you're going to fry these off until they go pink, OK? And get those really, really gorgeous. Whack up the heat. And you with that... Tail, you put the tails on. Leave the tails on. It's easy to eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Delicious? Absolutely gorgeous. Look, gorgeous. I've got the prawn. Uh, ground... Uh, sorry, minced ginger and garlic going in as well. And as you can see here, it's a really easy stir-fry. The best thing to do with Asian food, my dad always says, when you cook Asian food, preparation is like a marathon. Take some time, chop your veg, get your sauce ready, get everything ready, but the actual cooking is like a sprint, because you can see here... It's the perfect the pan, dish block for... It's, it's amazing. ..for fussy people as well. Yeah. So you could... Like me, I don't like eating fish. I'm not allergic to it, I just don't yeah. like fish. So you could put chicken in this, if you you're vegan, you, you could put this in. And also, this is a great dish to introduce your family, kids in particular, to different flavours as well, mm. because the curry powder is not too no. overpowering. Not if you think about it, you can now buy a packet of crisps with curry powder in. Yeah. The yeah. kids are actually quite used to these flavours now. So just like changing up your midweek meals. Right, as you can see, the prawns are cooking through now. I'm now going to add in my crab meat. This is tinned crab. Oh, Dead tinned easy. Crab. Doesn't have to be really posh. Yeah. And that crab is quite subtle. Crab and we're going to heat that through. Did you get crab in a tin? I kind of forget, cos I always buy that white crab, yeah. you know... Do you know what? Anything will cabinet. do. Um, uh, traditionally, this dish has the chow siu pork, you know, the roast barbecue pork. Oh, like the slices. I've even made this with a can of uh, tinned ham before. My dad loves tinned ham. We use... A, my dad always also loves spam, you know, spam, mm. and puts that in all these dishes. This also spam works. Spread. They're doing a spam spread. Yeah. Do you know what? what? That kind of dish is back now, isn't it? Yeah, it's retro um, for you to know, Right, it? OK, so this is our rice noodles. So, like I said earlier on, rehydrated in boiling water, then left on a, a, a tray, let them go to room temperature and you get this really nice consistency. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread these. This is quite important. Well, they go in and that's just going to keep... That's going to keep them cooking slightly. Exactly. But then what we do is turn this down a little bit. We're going to add in our gorgeous, beautiful Asian spice mix. Look at that. And that's just going to go all over the noodles mm. and it wets them down slightly. It helps you stir-fry them. Honestly, this is so lovely, guys. And then, as you'll see, that beautiful turmeric and all those spices are going to colour the white noodles, also colour the prawns. 
Look at that. It's I mean, lovely that is it's so got delicious. Spice and heat, but it's warmth rather than burning. Mm. Yeah, really nice. But you can add as much chili. I mean, I gave Ryan some there, so I know he likes it. Yeah, I'm going to put some in the middle. Okay. So. Egg omelette. That's just been fried off. Two eggs. I'm going to slice this down. Put one through there, and all of that is going to go in as well. And do you cook every day, Gok? Every single day. So when I was younger and I was growing up in the restaurant, obviously surrounded by food, um, food is so important to us, I became quite addicted to fast food mm -hmm. because I wanted anything that we didn't serve in the restaurant. And as I got older, gained loads of weight, then lost loads of weight, then gained loads of weight. And I kind of worked out, actually, the one way to be in control of your diet is to cook your own food. Mm. Mm. Know what's going into your dish, know what you're eating. And, you know, and I like to try and keep as fit as I can, but also the most important thing is, for me and our family, meal times are so precious. Mm. Because, you know, you have three meals a day, by, uh, on average, mm. Each meal should be an event. It should be yeah. something that you want to eat, something that you feel proud of. I'm constantly developing new recipes. I'm constantly changing stuff that my dad taught me. And would you me. even cook just for yourself? If you were literally yeah, at home every on day. your own, you'd do something. That's one thing I really struggle with. Every single day. Cooking for myself. Like, yeah. people are there, I love cooking. Yeah. I really enjoy it, but I just find it not a waste of time. But when it's just you, yeah. it's like, oh. Do you know, so it's I my, go it's my biggest effort. thing, because I work so many hours doing the fashion and the DJing, mm -hmm. and I'm always running around Europe and, and around the world. Actually, the one thing that I miss is cooking, mm -hmm. and it's that creative process, because I pour myself a drink, I've got the dog next to me, mm -hmm. I've got a film on or music on or something like that, and then... How is Dolly? Cook. Oh, she's gorgeous. I've been away a lot DJing this summer. Look and at so that. she's really, really missing me. Yeah, we did a thing today saying that dogs can actually cry happy tears. Well, oh, they see, seen, uh, they Dolly, seen you. there's nothing happy about my dog. She's no. miserable, <laughs> if I'm really honest, but I adore her. Singapore Look at noodles. That, that is just so nice onions. for in the middle of the Four table yourself. Yeah. Get all your friends over, a big pair of serving chopsticks, and do you know what? There is no excuse not to be enjoying every single no. one of your dinners. Yeah. That is so gorgeous. Uh, look, Please try this. Absolutely. Well, it's delicious. Eamon will love this. Yeah, Eamon oh, will love all that. Over. I'm, I'm yeah. That's just this plate. He'd love it. I'd like yeah. to cook that. <laughs> and, Rylan, when we get married, this every day, babe. Perfect, babe. No Sold. No, no prawns for no I'm prawns in. for him. <laughs> Thank you very much, Scott. It is uh, for delicious. all the details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our this morning chefs, head to the this morning app.